Finally, the new Smittybelt Gen 2 Overlander is finally here. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Alex from RoofTentInsider.com, so please subscribe uh, and like the video. Um, but this tent has been long awaited. Uh, the first generation has probably been by far the most popular on the market just because of its super low cost, um, so, which made it an ideal uh, entry-level rooftop tent for many people. And also it being built by Smitty Belt, um, just a very reputable and well-known company. So this video is gonna be talking about what has actually changed with the new Gen 2 um, and what you can expect and if it's worth the money. So uh, let's get into that. Um, so the, the first generation you could probably grab for around $900 on Amazon. I know that's how much I bought mine for. Um, if you brought it uh, directly from the manufacturer, probably just over the $1,000 mark. Um, but the new Gen 2, it costs uh, $1,150. Uh, and the size is the exact same as the previous generation. Um, so no difference there. And then when you're looking at the XL model, uh, the, the first generation was about 1100 bucks, and now it is $1,265. Uh, and again, the specs on that are the same as far as the size. Um, so you're looking at about $115 for the upgraded model, uh, which really isn't that bad, especially when you take into account everything that you get with this new generation. Um, honestly, it really seems that they listen to the consumer and a lot of people's complaints and upgraded most of everything that uh, people wanted to see change. Uh, but honestly, for the most part, I would say they copy and pasted about 90% of all the, the features that are on the tent. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about more of what actually changed. So the first thing is, and this is by far the biggest thing, is the ladder. So finally getting rid of that annoying sliding ladder um, and they are replacing it with a 93 inch telescoping aluminum ladder and it now has a 300 pound weight limit instead of a 260 pound weight limit. Uh, this is just by far one of the most annoying things about the, the Gen 1. Um, even though it was so cheap and uh, far worth the cost, it was just setting up the ladder and having to fit it into those tiny pre-drilled holes was always a nuisance. So I'm super ha happy to see this change uh, and I think it was well overdue. Uh, the base of the tent is still that same one inch aluminum sandwich design. Uh, this is something that personally I would have liked to see improved because when I first got my tent, uh, I thought it was a little flimsy and it could have been something I would have wanted to see improved, maybe a honeycomb design, but nonetheless, it is still a very cost effective tent. So I'm not surprised they didn't change this. Uh, the other thing, and I kind of think this is funny, is it's still the same, same 600D polyester ripstop material which is really durable it, it's great but in the new video which i will link to um, below that came out from smitty built they they market it as the toughest tent yet but the specs for the most part are the same so it's just a little bit of a marketing fluff um, i mean i'm not upset about uh, them not upgrading this because i think it was fine to begin with um, but don't market it like that. <laughs> uh, the other thing that they upgraded is a new fast fold design. And really all this is just a simple bungee system. So inside the tent, um, now there's a little, little cables inside and a hook on each side of the tent. Um, and you just hook these up so that when you go to fold the tent closed, the fabric isn't spilling out the sides and you have to go around tucking it in. Um, I mean, this really costs nothing for them to implement and I really don't see it saving you all that much time. Sure, it'll be a little bit more convenient, um, but I mean, maybe 30 seconds when you close it, it'll save you in time. So I'm, I'm a little hesitant to say it's a huge upgrade, but nonetheless, it is nice to see. Um, the other thing that they did upgrade was the cover, and this is another big one, uh, probably second behind the ladder. And so instead of a thousand D, which is just denier, um, which is the thickness of yarn measurement, um, it's now 2000, so much, much thicker. So don't have to worry about that wear and tear, which I know many people are seeing um, just from use because there's sharp corners on the tent. Um, so now that shouldn't be a problem. And also a zipper instead of a Velcro. Thank God for this. <laughs> the Velcro is, it sucks. And I, I mean, it really costs them nothing to have a zipper. And uh, I mean, they kind of have to match it now to compete with Tapui and other tent manufacturers. So I'm happy to see this. And it was a long time coming. 
the last thing that they really did add to the tent was uh, a new extended rain fly on each side of the tent. So it's just better weather protection, really. Uh, the tent itself is you know, still waterproof and has all of those features. And then uh, the other thing that changed is the tent is now gray instead of tent or <laughs> instead of tan. Um, I do like the look of it. I think it looks super clean. Um, I'm a fan of, uh, of that kind of color and shade, but um, I just think it looks a little bit more modern, which is pretty nice. Um, but really in total, there hasn't been a huge amount of change to the tent. Uh, it has you know, pretty much the same mattress and a lot of those different features. Um, if you're looking for a lot more in depth um, on what has changed, what has stayed the same, I'll link to my article uh, in the description below and it'll just shoot you right over to our website and there's a bunch of good helpful information over there but it breaks it down into tables and um, just a little bit more in depth on, on this subject in particular. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please hit the comments in, uh, below. Um, what, what do you think about the new tent? What questions do you have for me? I'd love to answer them for you guys. Uh, please like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We come out with videos like this all the time, uh, just talking about all things rooftop tent related, uh, and it's super fun. So please go ahead and join. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video.